Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to a super fun video. I'm jumping in to film this portion really quick because something very exciting happened, as you could tell from the title of this video. I'm going to be designing merchandise for Curtis Connor. Now, Curtis Connor reached out to me a few days ago and today we hopped on a call to discuss pretty much everything that he's looking for in merch. He's absolutely lovely, a total gem, and I'm really excited to work with him on this. And at the end of our call, I asked if it would be okay if I filmed portions of this process and he was totally on board and so that's what we're doing. So if you watched my last few videos about pitching to clients, I'm going to be applying pretty much that same technique to this situation here about the next steps of the process. So today we had our intro call. We talked for a little over a half hour. We had a really good time. I spoke with him and his manager and we had a, a good old a good old time um, talking about just everything that he is looking for and new merchandise and how we can make it come together. And I sent over some other relevant work that I think he would like. And so, oh, George is here. <laughs> George. There he is. Hi, buddy. You can sit right there. That's fine. So we talked about what he's looking for in his next round of merchandise, some stuff that he's liking, some stuff that is working really well in his merch store right now. So we know what direction to go towards and what some stuff that maybe didn't perform as well with his audience and things that we should just generally stay away from if they don't perform well. So I have a page of notes from our meeting, uh, one thing that I was sure to ask is who produces his merchandise. I was able to find that out. So I know, are they someone that I'm gonna be more hands-on with or are they someone that kind of knows how to produce merchandise? <laughs> and luckily they're working with a really awesome team. But talked about his producers for the merchandise. We talked about stuff that is working, what isn't working, some stuff that he likes. And we also covered some bodies that he likes and stuff that they are currently using, what they think is working, all of that. We had a wonderful time chatting about everything about his merchandise. So I guess the next step, and I left it off that call when they could expect a deck from me. And I said tomorrow morning. So that is what we're going to do right now. We're going to go ahead and put together the pitch merchandise line for Curtis Connor. And I'm not gonna walk you through this part too much because I already have another video on putting this together. So I'm just gonna be putting together the first part pitch deck for what I would put together for the one and only Curtis Connor. So let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, the voiceover king. Uh, so I'm gonna do a bit of, you know, walking you guys through this portion because I really wanted to focus on like creating a good product. So I didn't want to talk too much on this. So I wanted to make this mood board based on what Curtis had shared with me about how he really likes a lot of these old like Taurus decals and these old fun stickers. So I pulled that all together in one of my Pinterest boards like I usually do. And I'll link the uh, video to putting together one of these decks in the description. If you haven't seen that, I would suggest watching that because that's kind of what I'm doing here. And I go in depth in putting these decks together in another video. And when you build one of these decks out, you can kind of use it as a template to really start building out all of the kind of like garments that you want to use, the mood boards, everything. So you can just drag and drop all of these into the deck really quickly so it doesn't take a lot of time and you can get that deck back out to a potential client very quickly. So I proposed some things that I know he would like and some things that he asked for. So a little bit of both and that's kind of what I sent off. I sent the deck off to Curtis and his team and they had a few revisions of the garments that we're gonna include. So I proposed two capsules. So first one was t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, sweatsuit, so hoodie and sweatpants, Nalgene water bottle, cup and foam koozie. And then for the second capsule, I included a t-shirt, a water bottle, foam koozie, an enamel pin, and a hotel keychain. So what they want to revise it to is kind of switch the capsules in priority. So we're gonna have capsule one, the please be nice to me one. That is going to be a t-shirt, hoodie, sweatpants, so kind of flipping the garments around, a beanie, a pin, and a keychain. And then for capsule two, which is the like semi-sports vibe that we're going with um, for a little bit of a later launch, and that's 
going to be a t-shirt, a long sleeve, a bottle, a cup, and a koozie. So changing that up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and revise that deck right now, adjust all of our pricing for any items that we added or took out, and then I'm going to send that back and then we'll see where we go from there. So um, it's been a bit since I've filmed because of the holidays. So I took some time off in between um, the last part I filmed and now so eh, me vlogging i'm very bad at it we got approval on our deck from curtis connor and his team so i want to update you guys on what that deck actually looks like what we finally landed on like we had previously talked about we broke this down into two different capsules the first capsule is the please be nice to me it's literally the law capsule and what we landed on for this capsule is a t-shirt front and back design, a crew neck sweatshirt front and back and sleeves. Then we added a beanie, a hotel keychain, and an enamel pin. I'm super excited about this. It's going to be a little bit smaller, simpler of a capsule, but I really think we're going to be able to tie in some really cool typography with this and really kind of focus on that quote and add some cute little icons that have kind of like developed just in the back of my mind um to make this really cute i want it to be very type heavy so really gonna play with some cool fonts some cool hand lettering all that jazz so i was trying to think of cute ways that we could kind of bring the please be nice to me to life so i was thinking of your classic smiley face and little heart icons and how we can kind of make that into a little bit more of a unique idea. So I wanted to lean kind of into this semi picnic vibe and I landed on, I think it'd be really cute to turn the hearts and smiley faces into little pieces of fruit. So just adding like a little stem and leaf on top of them um, and then coloring them to correspond with fruit. So like I'm thinking the heart could be like an apple and then the smiley face could be an orange. I don't know just an idea. So then I had this idea of making a little like picnic basket or like a little farmer's basket with a bunch of fruit in it and having all of the fruit be like these smiley faces and hearts and that could be like sitting on grass. So it's kind of like this <laughs> picnic idea um, that just says, please be nice to me, it's the law. When I sketch these things out for a capsule, I like to develop multiple different styles of not like styles aesthetically, but like different ways to style the art. So for a front hit, I mean just a smaller hit that isn't going to be too complex and works on a smaller scale. So that might be on the front of a t-shirt or a crew neck, or it might be on a beanie, it might be an enamel pin, art that functions better on a smaller scale. And so you can kind of do variations of type, you can include little icons, little illustrations, something that's really simple that can work on a small scale. So, you know, you can kind of slap those into place as you go. I did a few different variations of the type. I just sketched these out. So I'll probably go into Illustrator and start building these out. I might do some hand lettered. So I just did the first part of the quote that he wants to use, which is just, please be nice to me. And so I have a few different variations of that really hitting home to like that vintage style that we have in our mood boards and maybe integrating some of those icons that I talked about, the little heart and smiley face icons. Um, and then on the back, well, so for the, the smaller hits, I have four right now and I might make some more just as I go because more ideas kind of come together uh, the more I work on something. So I just have four concepts right now, which is I think a decent amount for starting off with a capsule this size because we have five garments and all of them are gonna need an individual small hit. And so then for the back hits, and when I say back hits, it's, I'm mostly referring to the back of t-shirts, back of sweatshirts, crewnecks, whatever. So art that's a little bit bigger, a little bit more complex, might have a little bit more detail, works better on a larger scale. So this is definitely really great for, it could be like poster art, could be just backs of t-shirts, anything that's bigger than an enamel pin. So I have this idea that I, I had in the back of my head for a while, which is just the please be nice to me text, really big stacked with a uh, flush left. And then on the other side where the ragged text is, I have this idea of a 
sun with some clouds and then that little picnic basket idea that I mentioned and then the it's literally the law I can't remember if it's literally the law or it's the law I'll find that out in a sec so I'm thinking like a rounded serif for that maybe a cooper black because I do love me some cooper black and I am not a big fan of like some of the other your windsors out there I'm kind of over those typefaces so I might lean more into a cooper black because it's a bit more timeless um, and then the next concept is the please be nice to me. It's literally the law all as one big body of text. I might do this hand lettered, not like scripted, but manually draw out all the letters to look how I want them to. So it's all just like this giant, like probably centered body of text um, just to keep it very clean. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all I have for those two. I only need two big body hits right now, but I might, uh, make some others as I go along. So for the really big body of text, I might do the hand lettered and I might also try a variation with some other really heavy type. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, but this is just the brainstorming phase. So yeah, this is a bit of a haphazard approach, but um, this is just how I do it. So I'm gonna, you know, as I go, make some more ideas, make some other little lockups, little icons, ways that I can integrate that style in different applications so it looks a little bit different across each item. That's the goal. So I guess now we're gonna hop over to Illustrator and we're gonna start pulling some type and maybe start working on some illustrations. So let's go. All right, so before I jump into Illustrator, I usually like to do a good perusal over on Adobe Fonts to look for any sort of typeface that I might wanna use. And I kinda already had some ideas for what I wanted anyway, but I always try to see what else is out there, pulled in some new fonts that I haven't used before. And like I said earlier, I try to build up multiple versions of these little pieces of art so I can use them in a bunch of different ways across different garments, whether that's as a front hit on a t-shirt or on a pin, mug, Christmas ornament, you know, it's good to have variations of that art. Building out my icons. I know they're simple, but I wanted to make my own version so it still seems original and it has its own unique style to it. And I didn't want to just pull like images from Google. So, you know, it's easy enough to draw. So, you know, easy to make your own art. That's one of my favorite scripts right now. It's called Sloop Script. It's on Adobe Fonts. It's a really good one. It's a very versatile script too. And good old Cooper Black, gotta love it. It's a classic, timeless, so good on a shirt. I'm really glad I went with it. Oh my God, that picnic basket came out so cute. I love it so much. Really love that little tag I made, cleaning that up, erasing all of our unnecessary lines. I just use the eraser tool for that and I use outline mode so I can really see everything and see where the paths are actually being erased. adding some grass to give it some dimension, give it some ground in front so it doesn't look like it's just floating in space. And then I worked on the uh, second back kit, which was all entirely hand lettered, which eh, I, wasn't, I didn't end up being a fan of it, so I abandoned it. But maybe for another project, I can use some more squiggly type like this. Oh, and then this is when I realized, oh, I definitely want to do some hand lettered type right about this time. Cause I like that lockup, but it didn't do anything for me. So I made this, you know, quick, nice, uh, 
thing out of just the pen tool. That's how I prefer to draw type. And I wanted like a really aggressive angular script that looks nice on kind of like a rise effect. And I didn't want it to look too much like a typed out font either, so I think it has a good, good hand feel. And then, oh my god, I love this. I'm so happy with how this part came out. So this is the wonderful Curtis Town type. So you can see how I kind of just like drew in some loose guides and then just kind of went to town and started drawing and moving the points into place to really kind of define those characters a little bit more. And this takes some practice. It takes a lot of like staring at type, especially with script, because there's so many weird little squiggly things in it. Then I made these pins, which are so cute. And I try to lay out all the art in like either one or a few of these artboards and illustrators so I can see what all of the art looks like together so it's still cohesive. So now I am preparing the art file. So he approved all of those pretty much like with no changes. So this is me prepping all of these art files. It took a long time, pulling all those Pantones, making sure everything was cleaned up. So take time to do that, you know, go slow so you don't make mistakes because oh boy, oh boy, does that suck. Labeled all of my files, called out my Pantones, uh, said what the garment was, pocket print, full print, all that jazz. All right, guys, and here's the final line. Oh my God, ah, okay, I'll let you enjoy it in peace, but I'm very excited about this. It looks so great, wow. Incredible. I think it fits Curtis really well. I think it fits his demo really well. It's just really simple, beautiful type focused art. I just am so happy with how it came out. So thank you, Curtis. And thank you all to all of his fans who have already sold everything out. Okay, wow, it has been a minute since I've been back on here wrapping up this amazing video with Curtis Connor. So I am really, truly very excited for this merch line to launch. By the time you guys see this video, it will already be out. So I'll leave a link to go support him, go buy his merch down in the description box below. Thank you so much to Curtis Connor for reaching out to me for such an amazing opportunity. I am such a longtime fan of Curtis Connor, so this was really kind of surreal for me. I'm really happy with how this merch turned out. I think it's very true to him. It was very fun for me to do, very true to my artistic style. So overall, I'm very happy with the final selections that they made. Go check it out, go support him, go subscribe to his channel if you aren't already. I think the last thing that we have to do is thank our sponsor for this very long-term video, Squarespace. If you're unfamiliar with Squarespace, Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform to help you build your online presence. I've been using Squarespace for the past almost six years now to host my own personal portfolio site, kellylaurendesign.com. And it's what I've used for years because it's been so easy for me to just drag and drop all of my new pieces, whatever it may be, whether it's photos, mock-ups, anything, all of that can just be dragged right into my gallery. It automatically formats everything to fit a browser. So whether you're looking on a desktop, mobile device, tablet, whatever, all of your galleries and all of the Squarespace templates scale perfectly. And that's something that's really important because you don't want something to look great on desktop. And then when you look at it, on mobile, things just aren't as intuitive. They're kind of clunky, harder to scroll around. That's no issue with Squarespace. They have a ton of beautiful, fully customizable templates for you to choose from. One of my favorite features of Squarespace is being able to have locked pages or hidden pages so you can give a password to someone so they can log in and view work that you might not be allowed to have on your website, but you want to have it on there anyway. You can add a password protected page very easily. It's one of my favorite features and I've used it in the past to send either potential clients or clients some work for them to review. And another thing that's really great is you can build clients directly through your site. Now, for whatever reason you have any issues with customizing your beautiful Squarespace template or you're building something from scratch, you have any issues, whatever it may be, the Squarespace customer service team is always there to help you out. They have helped me so many times when I've just had weird issues or glitches with my site or I've just had a question about how I can achieve an effect. So go head over to squarespace.com slash Kellorn, K-E-L-L-E-U-R-E-N to get 10% off your first purchase. If you are another YouTuber, you're a musician, feel 
feel free to you know reach out to me through my website if you would like to hire me for some merchandise. I am almost exclusively doing merchandise this year, so if you are interested in having me design your merch, hit me up on my website. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This was a really exciting video. Thank you to Curtis Connor and his team for reaching out to me for such an exciting project. It was truly, truly an honor, and I'm really happy that they let me show this kind of little process to you guys. I'm sorry it wasn't super in depth, but um, if I have another you know big YouTuber reach out to me and they're okay with kind of having this process filmed, you know you might see more of these videos. So I'm pretty excited. Go check out the merch. I'm so stoked about it. It looks great. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.